Hey everybody, so I'm here at a hostel with my friend AJ and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to keep your stuff safe. One of the things that I was looking for when I first was looking into hostels was how do I keep my things safe and what should I do? So the first tip that I recommend is to carry lots of different locks. You never know what type of padlock your hostel is gonna have and what the locking situation will be. The locks that I brought were like a regular size padlock, a TSA approved lock, and a bike lock. Like this. Um, and this came in handy when I had really big lockers. Um, for example, when we were in Madrid, there was a hostel that had big, lo big lockers and a big padlock like this was helpful because it fit. However, the rest of the hostels that I've been at have had really small locks. So thankfully, AJ brought this really tiny lock. And a lot of the padlocks um, in the rest of the hostels have kind of this size um, as far as this up here locking mechanism. So I'd say bring a couple of these, like maybe one or two, because they're helpful in locking your bag up and also locking up with the lockers. The lock PSA lock, um, because it's kind of flimsy, I don't use it as much. Uh, what I usually use this for is for my bag and I just lock up a random compartment or random locks in my bag just to have that extra piece of safety and to show, look, I take my bag seriously, don't take it. And my last lock that I bring is a bike lock and this has been helpful when the lockers in the hostel are not big enough for me to fit my big old bag in. And so what I do is I take out all of my important items and I put them in the locker and then I bike lock my bag to my friend AJ's bag and we bike lock our bags to a bed together and I'll show you how we do that in a second. So this is my TSA lock which I don't recommend because it's so flimsy. If someone really wanted to they may be able to cut this but it fits quite nicely here and you don't have to worry about it so if somebody wants to cut this they gotta have that strength you can stick it through there and it fits the towel stick it through and it fits a bike lock doesn't fit so much this is how big it is mine doesn't you might be able to find a bike lock that does but I just wanted to show you that's how it works you want to have a variety because not every hostel will have a hole this big or they might have bigger hole or smaller hole and you want to be able to have a lock that accommodates that so you have the option of locking your stuff up recommend these two this is like a hefty one if anybody's really desperate and they want to cut your lock they will not well they might not get through this one this one a little bit because it's flimsy so I wouldn't recommend this I like having this on your bag as just to show that you take your protection seriously all right so this is my bike lock I generally do with this I just loop it through here and like this is something that's stable, so I'll just loop it through and then bam. And it won't, it's harder to take your bag away. And again, if somebody's really determined to jack your stuff, they're gonna find out how, they're gonna figure out a way, but you just wanna make yourself seem like you really don't want your stuff stolen. Um, make it seem like it's very difficult and more challenging because thieves are gonna take the easiest route to steal your things, so you wanna put up as much resistance as you can towards that. Um, and then make sure you have, mine comes with two keys. Don't lose the key because then you're gonna be stuck with your stuff locked, so if you're the type of person that thinks they might lose something, maybe the bike lock won't be the best for you, or maybe you can get a bike lock with a code that you can remember, um, and that might be easier for you to do. So that is how I lock that up. Lock up and bike lock your backpack if hostels have a public storage. So many of the hostels that you'll go into, they'll have a 24 hour reception, and if you come in early from a flight, sometimes check-in is until 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., but they'll offer that you can put your bag in um, the locker storage at the front desk. Um, and it's not exactly a locker, it's a door that they have the key to, but anybody that wants to check into the hostel can have access to that. Not saying that they can open the door themselves, but hey front desk, I need to get my backpack back there, can you get it? And they don't necessarily monitor you one, especially monitor you with that. In Brussels, they open the door and go right back to the front desk. So they leave you in the locker room, and AJ and I actually saw somebody's iPad just sitting there. There's a lot of people with open stuff everywhere. So again, if somebody's going to steal something and they want your bag they're going to get your bag but if there's things there's other goodies outside that somebody has access to that's easy again you just want to make it as difficult as possible so you can use your bike lock to actually lock up your bag to one of the um, shelves that they have there so it's more challenging if somebody wants to take it to take 
And then so I just want to show you what I do with my TSA lock. It's kind of useless, but I just have it, so I want to use it. So if you can see, I just lock my two locks together. Now this isn't very helpful because somebody can easily cut this. What you want to do is if you have space to loop it around the metal part and lock the zippers together rather than kind of locking the fabric of the zippers together. But this is just the way that my backpack is set up and I'm always like the path to least resistance. If you're traveling by yourself and you're still a little bit worried, maybe a top bunk will help. It's more challenging to get up on the top bunk. That being said, if your top bunk mate is somebody that's a little sketchy, they're a little sketchy, they could crawl right over. Um, and usually there's less beds on top than bottom. So if you have two beds on top, that's kind of nice rather than having four beds on the bottom. And you could, another thing you can do if you really want to is you can sleep with your electronic device. So you can charge and sleep with that and it's really nice and super helpful. So those are what I have and I hope that was super helpful. Thanks. Lockers in different hostels that I'm staying in. So the Wombats Hotel is actually really nice when you're in the room because you have big large lockers. So these are the big large lockers. Like you can see it's kind of like half the size of my body. And to open it and open it, you actually don't need a lock at all. You just use your key card. So I don't know if this is all the Wombat hostels everywhere, but this is the one in London. So I'll show you how you open your, your thing. So hit that, just push it down and it opens. And only your key opens it, which is nice. I also want to note that they have a luggage room, but everybody has the access code to it. And today's code is ice cream. And I'm, I'm just letting you know because the code's different every day. But they're just, they yell it out in the lobby. So every, anybody can hear it. So not to say that anybody's going to steal your stuff, but every time we have a public storage space, AJ and I bike lock our bags to like something stable in the locker room because a lot of people are moving in and out trying to move your stuff so you don't want your stuff misplaced or somebody to accidentally take a bag that might look like yours. So always carry that bike lock to bike lock your stuff. I'm at a hostel here in Venice, Italy and I just want to show you what the boxes look like and how the locks fit. These are the boxes, they're quite big. You open it, whoa, these roll as well. There you go, lots of space inside. So let's try my big lock once again, the master lock. Does it fit? Ugh. Does it fit? Hardly, not really. If I push it really hard, it'll probably be able to lock. This fits very, very well. Lock will definitely not fit in here. And the TSA lock, the pink one that I showed you, will fit as well. Those different hostels, different locks, so come prepared.